Ladies and gentlemen, this is a catchweight contest consisting of six five-minute rounds. One fall, one submission, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my left and in the red corner, the British lightweight champion, the Dynamite King. His opponent on my left and in the blue corner, the new British welterweight champion, Jim Bray. Thank you, Mike Judd. And our final bout this afternoon, a catchweight, the Dynamite Kid, the British lightweight champion, and the man he took that title off some time ago, who now, as you probably saw a few days ago on, on television, uh, from the Albert Hall, Jim Brakes, the new welterweight champion of Great Britain, having won it off, uh, well, actually, it was the uh, vacant title he got from Vic Faulkner. So Jim Brakes in the dark trunks with the stripes versus Dynamite Kid. The first round. And Jim Brakes from Bradford at 11 stone two now. He's uh, gone up a little bit into the welterweight bracket. He hasn't bothered to train down to the lightweight recently, but he could do it quite easily. And the dynamite kid from Gold, Goldborn near Warrington. He's at 11 stone. So nothing in it weight-wise. Breaks with the most experience, of course. And the silver trunks of uh, Dynamite Kid is going to have a little bit of problem here this afternoon. Max Ward, still the referee in charge, and he knows breaks of old, of course, and so going to watch his tricks very closely indeed. Really laid on there by Briggs. Oh, yes. Instep got him off nicely. For the first time, Dynamite Kid really wakes up and goes. Now it's Briggs wanting to slow, as always. <laughs> the amount of times he does up that uh, wrestling boot lace all the way through the box. Tries to get his man looking the other way so he can attack unawares. One fall decides this catchweight contest. Two champions in the ring the welterweight, Briggs, and the lightweight, the dynamite kid. Both, of course, champions of Great Britain. And yet, Jim Briggs is only two pounds heavier this afternoon than his opponent in the weight below. Because the upper limit of the lightweight, of course, is 11 stone, so anything over that is in water weight class. The kid shaping up for a straight arm lift. Thought if you get breaks into that position too. Often. I never just did Forever complaining, Jim Brace. He never stops. It's okay if he bends the rules, but it's not. He's not happy at all if his opponent ever does. Or he, he tries to make out that he does. I don't think I've ever seen the Dynamite Kid uh, bend the rules unintentionally, not until he gets a little bit angry. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> now let's see what happens when the kid tries it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Caught him the third time, all right. And Brake still complaining. And <laughs> he'll complain more now. <laughs> 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 
Max Ward sweat pouring down his face there. Breaks the ear hole the only way he knows how and breaks this one like it at all. Just one minute to go in this first round of six. And one fall decided to remember. to take that hand oh well surprise surprise he didn't take advantage of it for once perfectly legal he never had he turned the head as he went then eight seconds Still complaining there. And a microphone being put up in front of him there. Second delay, round two. Well, Jim Blake still complaining all in Sunday. Round two, five to go. Kid almost comes out and joins us on our commentary table at ringside. He just went over the top rope and landed on it, fortunately for him and all of us, I think. <laughs> oh, nice throw. Oh, beautiful wrench. This one. No, he didn't go. Uh oh. And this time the kid is out on our table. But no harm to him this time. Either. And still the fingers. Curiously near the mouth there. I don't know if it's the corner or if it's inside the mouth. Oh, it's released now, anyway. The referee came around this side. just in the top vertebrae. Poor oh, Nelson, hardly reach it. And he is. Brace oh. <laughs> will not like this. Really, really get it up a bit then. <laughs> Rushing for the ropes. and I'm being held by the feet but his hand should be off the rope. Yeah, must have heard me. Still that arm lever held by the feet. 
Not against the joint, but it's still pretty thin. Are you asking him, Ward, or not? What do you think I'm doing? I think you're messing about it! A public warning for dissent. The referee gives first public warning to Jim Brake. <laughs> that time he caught the kid off completely uh, off concentration there. He completely unawares. Oh, yes. So the foot. Nice defense there. The kid. Back to the center of the ring. Cross press. Very deliberate. I'm surprised he hasn't even thought of trying his uh, special, break special arm lever yet. He might be thinking of it now. He starts with the double wrist lever. Less than a minute to go this second round. That's the position of it. seconds to go. He generally prefers it when his man is standing. Come on, ask him. Get the cameras on this. Come on. Oh, yes. well, that's right against the always that arm. It's a real great special ground position. But he's only got five seconds. Nicely out by the kid and punched by Brakes, and that really starts trouble. The kid's lost his cool now in this interval. The end of round two. And the referee next to trying to cool it from the kid's point of view this time. Well, this boy from near Warrington really lost his temper then. Second away, round three. That Brakes punch came in, and the kid went just a little bit wild for a moment there. But no public warning, just one to break so far, and of course this is a one-four contest, so no score with four rounds to go. Time to get his head over that time and do his uh, complete his somersault. Give it a rest, referee right there. That heel of the wrist move can be deceptive. But sometimes the fingers, because they're curled over, look as though it's a clenched fist, but it isn't. the first time, landed him in the backhand. And uh, the kid's nose bleeding quite badly now as he comes over our way again. It's time to stop, stop showing the ropes. And Brakes going in for the special lift and he's got his... No, the kid's got his knees up there grabbing the Brakes' body and therefore taking the pressure off. Lovely wrench there, goes in front of the folding press and the kid could have it here, three, he's got it the kid's done it and Briggs will be really angry about that he had the, the boat in his pocket but in one minute, 25 seconds around three, the kid came back with a glorious folding press very suddenly, caught him unawares just as he thought he got it and the winner, the dynamite kid in the third Mike Judd Ladies and gentlemen I know, ladies and gentlemen. No chance at all. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dynamite Kid is putting on weight every day, and he wants to know why he can't be the British World Weight Champion. <laughs> so if he goes on like that, it could easily be. Your work, not good enough. <laughs> He's just beating him. <laughs> but anyway, this. Ah, no one beat Legion, but they're not good. 
this battle of words could go on all afternoon, so it's time we said goodbye from all of us here at the Pavilion Hamel Hampstead. We hope you've enjoyed it, and have a good week.